Things are once again beginning to boil in the 7th District Congressional race, and it's not the candidates that are bringing the pressure. A national conservative group is making rounds across the nation, and today it was in Jackson delivering its message to voters there. News 10's Jessica Harvin reports tonight on the candidate in the crosshairs. And the glory Americans for Prosperity already has its eye on November. This D.C.-based conservative activism group is not wasting any time trying to draw out supporters. Our greatest resources are our people. Supporters like those who turned up in Jackson Monday. No, we're really not here to convert people. Uh, we're here just to promote free markets, economic liberty, and limited <laughs> government. While they are drawing early attention to the congressional race between Democrat Mark Schauer and Republican Tim Wahlberg, the AFP has emphasized that their November is Coming campaign is about more than the individuals. Uh, we're all about the issues. We don't endorse candidates. But many of those who turned out for the AFP seem to disagree. They support the wrong guy. I believe that we need to get Merck Shower out of the uh, out of the office that he holds. Shower supporters protesting the event also didn't see the stop as being only about the issues. So they're here for one reason and one reason only, and that's to prop up Tim Wahlberg's campaign. He voted for government health care. Americans for Progress has actually been paying for anti-shower attack ads since last Wednesday. Shower's camp warned voters about those claims, saying... you got to consider the source. Whenever a big outside special interest group starts spending money, you have to consider uh, where the money is coming from when you consider anything that they say in the ads. <laughs> Shower's campaign is not going to take the attacks lying down. They're going to say what they're going to say, but we're ready to fight back. We're not, we're not going to sit around and let these outside groups come in and influence our elections. In Jackson, Jessica Harbin, News 10. The Americans for Prosperity Tour continues tomorrow in Delta Township before it moves on to Indiana.